A cowboy in the zone, months before the accident. But now, Sandy Cooper Black's rodeo career is over before it really started. The 16-year-old saddle bronc rider from Consul, Saskatchewan, was in a Southern Alberta rodeo on December 30th. He wanted to keep his game fresh for high school rodeo events in the spring, but the horse bucked him off. He broke his neck. He spoke to us from a Calgary hospital. I actually didn't panic until, until I got into the ambulance, but I stayed pretty cool on the ground. I couldn't move my arms or legs or nothing. He spent almost a week in a Calgary ICU. He had a slim chance of talking or just breathing on his own, but he is. <laughs> With a serious spinal cord injury, the focus is on moving again. Doctors say he'll probably use a wheelchair from now on, so Cooper Black will work on his upper body first. A lot of people have told me and well, showed me proof that even if the doctor says you won't get your arms back or your legs back, there's still a chance that you get them back, so just not to give up. One of those people is Ryan Straznitsky. The hockey player survived the Humboldt Broncos bus crash, but was left paralyzed. I obviously had tons of questions when I first got injured, and I made sure I could answer those, but at the same time, I just wanted to let, let him know to stay hopeful. I mean, hope is what keeps us driving to get better every day. He's, he's 16 going on 75. He's kind of an old soul. Like to wear out your boots. Coulter Wall, country music singer and friend of the family, wants to help too. So starting today, all proceeds from all sales, physical and digital sales, of my album, Western Swing and Waltzes, are going to go towards Sandy and his uh, rehabilitation and his recovery. The family says people have donated more than $60,000 from the album and another online fundraiser. All that money, they say, will go to any kind of treatment he needs. We'd all trade places with him in a heartbeat if we could, but he's the one that's strong enough to get through this, and nothing's going to stop him. It seems Cooper Black's family and friends will make sure of that. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Regina.